Good morning ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing well and this is a little video for you to see how a duo can be done. So I'm double phoning, screen record one, this is too old, this other one, sadly the screen record two, just get my point of view. But we are going to duo this heat trap and seeing on how it goes I may just skip through and not bother with the commentary. So as you can see it's recommended ride on a bunch of groundhogs. That's sort of indicating what moveset it might have. So where's my where's my ground types? There we go. So as you saw, I have two teams, I have two teams set up for this boss. So I'm just going to test the waters with the move set. You shouldn't have too much issue duoing this. To, you know, whatever move set you might have. Uh, somebody duoed it earlier today in our group, uh, who has like Groudon's powered up to level 33, which uh, is obviously not maxed out. As you can see from this, I have full on maxed out Groudons, a mixture of Hundo's 98 and 96%. The Hundo Excadrill is going to lead off. If it is a fire move, that might get KO'd, but we'll have to see. We do have new raid bosses uh, out and released, and Excadrill is a tier 4, as I suspected. Uh, in my point of view, the raids that you should really go for uh, Oshawa, if you want to prep for that, is Community Day, that's a level 1. Prinplup is a level 2, um, I believe that will be the January Community Day, Piplup. So, level 2. Go for that if you don't have any good IV ones. Uh, and other than that, tier three is a bit of a miss. There's you know, shiny Alola Raichu if you don't have that. Like, and uh, Excadrill. Um, if you're lacking some ground types, go for Excadrill because that's fully evolved as a form and it gets a very, very good move set. Another one you could go for in tier four is Rhydon, um, but you do need 100 Caddy and a Sinnerstone to evolve it over to Ride Periods. You have a supreme counter. But we're going to go in and this, and you can see it's an enormous Pokemon. Um, it is a Fire Blast, that's an issue. But we can actually dodge the charge moves this time. Whether that's going to be the smartest plan, I'm not sure. But Fire Blast is the one bar big charge move, so that won't be hitting off as many times as Flamethrower could. I'm hearing somebody's alarm going off. We're making an okay progress, so Exodrill's gone. We're now into the squad of Groudons. Um, we'll have to see how this goes, realistically. Yeah, so Fire Blast still does a decent amount of damage. That's the only thing you've got to really worry about. Iron Head, I think, is the hardest moveset to combat. Uh, Steel will be semi-super effective against your, your Rhydon and your Rhyperias, because they're obviously ground and rock types. Oh yeah, we, we are chunking this down. We are chunking this down with some good time to spare. So that's Groudon 1 gone. On to the third Mon. I'd suggest making up your teams before you go in. Don't always go in with this recommended. Um, because you may not get the best counters as we have seen in the past. So that's why I set up two teams on both phones. Making sure I can just swipe to them super easily. So we are nearly halfway, and we've only got we've only done 200 seconds. <laughs> there we go. Oh, please tell me those. Ah, oh, you see that it cheated. We had the earthquakes off and got the move done, and then because it hit us with fire blast, it you know took away those charge move attacks. That's not cool. That's bullshit. <laughs> there we go. We are in the yellow with 180 seconds to spare. I think we're on our fourth. Fourth for each team. So, obviously, Groudon is super effective, it's the best counter. However, you're going to need rare candy to power it up. That's where the advice about Excadrill and Rhyperia is much better because you know they're supremely good counters, but they're vastly cheaper to come by. Um, if you do have good Groudons, um, I mean, level 30 is an acceptable level to power them up to. Level 30 is two power-ups over the 5,000 dust per power-up. It's a bit of a weird how, on how that works out, but that's level 30. Um, I have a, we both have a speed glitch, I think. <laughs> you see that mud slap or mud shot or whatever it is, is going super quickly. There we go, we are almost in the red. 
Now, obviously, the big question is, will it be shiny? Um, Tom did do a raid for my account this morning um, on the way to Stains, I think. So, wasn't shiny, wasn't any good. Um, crap, what is the hundo? <laughs> I don't know. Also, all our Pokemon have fainted out. Okay, okay. Now, it's actually given me a reasonably decent team to come back in with. Tom has also got Rhyperia. So, as you can see, I've got this second moved. And Surf is going to get off a lot quicker. However, obviously, it's not double effective. Okay, so your Fire Blast, that's the only thing. Rhyperia, that's probably why I was recommending it. Rhyperia and Rhydon, for that matter, will be double resistant to Fire Type, the Fire Type charge moves. Heatran, you never stood a chance. I reckon we'll get this done with 50 or so seconds left on the clock. Yeah. There we go. Completed with 52 seconds left. So that, obviously I have a pretty decent roster of counters for this. We're going to see if it's going to be shiny though. Three rare candy, six hyper potions, six revives, and a thousand dust. Can it be the shiny for the duo? No. So that's not shiny. 2075 is really rubbish, um, annoyingly. I think like 21... 40 something. I will confirm in the end of the video. Not a shiny for Tom either. 2100 for him, so that's not any good either. Now, I haven't actually thrown a Heatran for an amazingly long time. As you can see, I completely missed. Um, okay, so it's a bit more of a fling. If it doesn't jump, okay. There we go, we hit a grade. No, that was satisfactory, I would say. It's a bit more of an up and drop throw, I think. If the circle doesn't like cut out quicker. Of course Tom's catches before mine. There's always the rule of whoever you're playing for, if you're doing two accounts, the person who isn't present at the raid gets the raid done first. Let's try a silver pineapple see how that goes. Right, we're actually going to just properly set the circle and throw. Yeah, so not too difficult of a throw to hit. Come on. Alright, alright. So we do have a few golden razzes to spare. Wait for the charge attack. This is the key thing to do. Don't get caught out of being impatient. Wait for that charge attack to hit. And then you need to learn the timing of when the move finishes in order to throw. But there we go, Golden Raz excellent, done. And I can show you how awful <laughs> this Heatran is. Wow, it is literally a 73, 71% I think. No, 73. 73%. But that is duos with 52 seconds on the clock. 